hello welcome back to my channel please subscribe to my channel and like my videos for more updates and please check out my channel for other videos so the last update about twist of fate ali had promised ria to help her separate prachi and rambro and tanu goes to pragya's house with her lawyer to manipulate pragya let's continue tanu comes to abby's room and locks the door abby is sleeping tanu takes his picture and thinks that she will make his video she keeps the video on and pinch him to wake up he wakes up and says you are here tanu says pragya had pushed you and says i am with you and i would expose pragya's true face abby asks her to go tanu says now say what i will do with pragya i will make her suffer abby is drowsy due to the medicine effect and he sleeps again alia confronts tanu for hurting abby tanu says we are poor as you did not take any action on time and work hard to stand for water pipeline alia asks her to come to the point Tanu says we have so much cash and risks the person whom I wanted in my life. She says she has took the risk and she has won. And she reminds her the contract clause in which Pragya has to give 6,000 and 2 months notice. Aliyah says I want to take my brother from here. Let's do it. Tanu asks her to wait and says if you help me, then we will benefit. She says I will talk. You shall stay silent. Aliyah says if you help me to bring my brother back, then I will help you. She says we shall start afresh. Tanu says we shall shake hands again to make team against Pragya. They shake hands and smack. The lawyer asks Pragya to read the point number 52 and asks her to see if it is in her copy. Pragya reads and gets shocked. Tanu comes there and asks, did you read all the point? It seems you have read seeing your face. Sushma asks, why did you want me to read? Aliyah says so that you cannot stop him when we take him. Tanu threatens that she will take Abby from here. Pragya says you cannot do this. Tanu says if you will arm him, then will I look on? And says that she has sold her husband and not her shame. She says that she has recorded this condition in her phone and says Aliyah has filed FIR against you for attempt to murder. Aliyah shouted Tanu. Tanu says you have done right being the sister. Aliyah thinks to support her. Tanu says the police will be coming here soon and says more than molestation charges, murder charges are more. Sushma says that he was drunk and he fell. Pragya says that there was no wine at home. Aliya says you both are saying different. Tanu says that they have planned to kill Abby. Sushma asks them to go and meet in the court. Lawyer says you shall not interfere as you were not there. Sushma says when I came here, I saw Abby unconscious. Tanu says I know that she must have cried and shouted. And says why didn't you take the police complaint? Tanu says he might have died. Then why haven't you filed the police complaint? Abby wakes up and recalls Tanu, asking him to see what she would do with Pragya. He gets up and sit down again. He recalls Pragya's concerns for him, and he thinks that he shall be near Pragya. Tanu is up to something. He says, I am coming. Tanu asks, why didn't you file the police complaint that he fell down? She says, the doctor treats patients well when they come to know that the police case is filed. Alia says, he wants to arm my brother. Sushma says if Pragya wanted, then she wouldn't have even taken him to the hospital. Aliyah says Pragya took him to the hospital so that everyone would think that it is an accident. Tanu says Pragya planned to kill him since two years ago and I have been keeping Kabachot fast for his safety. She says my fast has saved Abby, else Pragya had planned fully. Pragya asks her to be quiet. Abby falls down and faints again. Pragya senses something happens to him and runs upstairs. She goes to Abby and lifts him. She takes him to the bed and asks him to rest. Abby holds her hand and says, I love you. Pragya says he must be dreaming and covers blanket on him. She goes downstairs. Sushma says this is not a courtroom where the judge will give the verdict. She says we both know what you want and asks them to take 3,000 and leave. Aliyah says 6,000 and whispers to Tanu if she wants to say this. Tanu says, I just want my husband. Pragya comes back and says he will not go anywhere. Tell me what amount you want. Tanu says, if Abby cannot come with me, then I have to stay here with all the family. Sushma gets angry and says, you will stay here with your family. Tanu says, I have to stay here with Abby with all the family to save Abby from Pragya. She says, I will get the attempt to murder charges moved from you. Sushma asks her to leave. Pragya says, come with everyone tomorrow morning. I can bear with you all year, but I cannot bear to see him in the basti. Tanu smacks and asks Aliyah to come. Tanu, Aliyah and the lawyer leave. Rambu comes to Sidat. Sidat asks if the meeting is over. Rambu says the meeting went well and says few things odd. 
See that asks what happened. Rambrew says I am feeling pain in my kidney. See that says I will call the doctor. Rambrew says I will be fine and says you shall call Prachi. He says when I am worried for her, I get heart pain and when I am worried about you, I feel problem in my kidney. See that says you are making me mad. I am going. Rambrew says you are leaving, leaving me in this pain. See that says you are drama bags and asks what happened. Rambro asks him to share his problem and asks what is going on. Sedat asks Rambro. He says it is all about Ria. Ria comes there and hears them. Sedat says between us. Ria comes inside and calls Sedat. Ria asks when did you come? You came home and haven't met me. She says you have forgotten me so soon. She says I think I have disturbed you and goes. Sedat says I think I shall talk to her. Ria hears them and goes. Sedat goes behind her. Aliyah asks Tanu what is going on in her mind and says you would have told me if you have changed the plan. She says you said I don't want money. We want to come home. Tanu says your thinking is small and says you want her 6,000 and I want her 600,000 and more. She says I want to snatch her money and make her poor. Tanu says we have to stay in her house to get her treasure. Aliyah says it is not easy. Tanu says you cannot wait for Gaurav. Till then, I will go and tell everyone about this good news. She goes inside and tells Mitali, Grandma and Taiji that they will go and stay in Abby's house. Mitali says this is Abby's house. Tanu asks where is Abby staying now. Tanu tells everyone that they will stay with Abby in Pragya's house. Mitali gets happy. Taiji asks really. Aliyah says we will go to Pragya's house tomorrow. Grandma also gets happy. Mitali says I was breaking the lock unnecessarily and dances. Tanu thinks that they will not think her less than a god as she gave them the biggest happiness. Pragya comes to Sushma and asks if she was about to sleep. Sushma says no. Pragya says you did not tell me anything and asks if she is upset with her. Sushma says yeah. You knock at the door and asking for permission. But there you did not talk to me and took the decision. She says you know Aliyah and Tanu better and says that they will trouble you. Pragya says she just wants to be with Abby. Sushma says, did you forget what he had done with you in the past? Pragya says, my perception is changed now. He had not done anything. Sushma says, Pragya told you and you agreed. Pragya says that she has given him benefit of doubt and says that she is sure that Alia and Tano misunderstood her and showed me what they wanted. She says, I was very angry then and I couldn't understand. Sushma says, your art overpowered your mind. Pragya says, she can see everything clearly now. And both heart and mind are asking her to stay with Abby and take care of him. Sushma says, when you have taught, then what can I do? Pragya says, I will keep Tanu and Aliyah in control. And says that when I come here, I came here for revenge. Pragya says, when I saw them, I thought they have nothing, so I shall not take revenge. She says, now they have money and home. I shall get revenge from them. Ria thinks that Sedat is talking about me with Rambro and thinks of what to do. Sedat comes there. Ria acted to be teary eyes and says, I thought what you said in the morning. Ria says that he says that I talked to everyone nicely, but not you. She says you said that you don't exist in the room. Then why am I here? She says I was waiting for you and I called you, but the call couldn't be connected. She says I was happy when you came early from the office, but I ate you, see that. See that looks on. Rambri comes to his room and rests on Prachi's lap. Prachi asks what happened today. You did not take off your watch today. He takes it out. She asks what is the matter. He says he himself doesn't know. Prachi sees Krokosh and gets scared. Rambro also gets scared, seeing the flying Krokosh, which falls on the bed and then vanishes somewhere. Prachi says if I was sleeping in the night, then it will come and sit on my hand. Rambro says it has gone. Prachi asks him to prove that he has caught the Krokosh and asks him to take a picture. She asks him to leave her hand and goes to grandma's room. Rambru says first she used to hug me and now she ran away. Rambru thinks of how to catch the crocosh and looks for it. He thinks he has to sleep alone today. Sedat asks when you ate me so much, then why are you here in my room? Ria says I did not feel this before, which I am feeling now. She says I feel that you don't respect me and our marriage. Sedat asks her not to tell him this. Ria says I will tell you what is the truth and what I feel on your face and I will not talk like this behind. Sedat asks, when did I say? Ria says, I heard you talking to Rambro. He says, Rambro is my brother. Ria says, did I tell Prachi that you torture me a lot? He asks, do I torture you? She says, yes. 
You give me mental torture. Ria says, don't let your partner feel low. And when you were talking bad about me, she says, if you can do one thing, then do it. And ask him to take the pillow and sleep. Give me some space. She says, if I go out, then everyone will ask me. And if everyone asks you, then you can make work excuse. Ria asks him to do this for me and asks him not to go to Rambru and Prachi and cry complaining about her. See, that goes out. Ria smiles and closes the door. She thinks that this feels so good. Finally, I will sleep on this bed alone. She thinks that she felt suffocated with Sidat. And now she mentions Rabru's name and she will sleep peacefully. Ria says, I don't like you, Sidat, but you gave me a good idea to get close to Rambru. She hears Prachi and Grandma talking about Krokosh in the former's room. Grandma says, I will walk and then we will sleep in my room. Ria thinks that Prachi is sleeping in Grandma's room and Rambru is alone in his room. Ria thinks that even Destiny won this. Now Rambro started talking to me, will care for me slowly and like me too. She says I will go and tell Rambro that she is trapped in a bad marriage. See that doesn't love her. She thinks that Rambro will care for her, love her and will belong to her. She thinks that love happens this way. Rambro is still searching for the crocosh and asks where are you. He thinks to tell her that the crocosh went out and thinks that she will come. Ria comes there and asks where is Prachi. Rambro says Prachi saw crocosh and went to sleep in grandma's room. Ria says Prachi is lucky that she got you as her husband. Rambro says I am lucky to get a wife like Prachi too. Ria started crying. Rambro asks what happened. Ria says I wanted to marry you. Don't take it otherwise. I am saying this which couldn't happen. She says don't take me wrong. Rambro says you shall not think wrong and says I love Prachi and married her. Ria says what about my dreams and says that I dreamt to marry you but I got married to see that. She says the marriage between Siddharth and me is very strange as we are strangers to each other. Ria says neither of us knows about each other and says I am not talking bad about him. He is a good man but we don't know each other. She says when we were in the room, our silence asks us why did we marry. She says I shall not talk about this with you but I cannot undo these feelings. Ria asks him not to think her wrong and says Siddharth is sleeping outside. She says if mommy sees him sleeping outside, then she would think that I have done mistake. She says I have done mistakes in the past and nobody wants to accept this new Ria. Rambro asks her not to cry and wipe her tears. Rambro asks her not to cry and says I don't like to see you crying. He wipes her tears. He says I will talk to Siddhat and I will make him understand. Ria says you will talk to him as he is your brother. But if I am nothing to you, Rambro says I will talk to him. Ria says you cannot talk to him. Rambro says, I really need to talk to him. It is about your life. Ria says, if you talk to him, then things might go wrong. And he might think that I have complained about him and said bad things about him. Rambro says, you did not say anything wrong about him. Ria gives him Prachi's way and says that don't talk to Siddharth. If you talk to him, then the situation can get worse. Ria asks Rambro to promise her that he will not say anything to Siddharth. Rambro owes her hand and says, okay. He says, I promise that I will not talk to Siddharth about this. Ria thanks him and says, I know that only you can understand me. She thanks him and goes. Rambro thinks that I will not talk to Siddharth, but I will do something to make them become happy couple like Prachi and me. Thank you so much for watching my videos. Please don't forget to like my videos and please check out my channels for other videos as well. And please don't forget to share this video and subscribe to my channel for more updates. Thank you.